All right, it's cooking time again. These are mushrooms. I've wiped them down. I'm just having them. Well, some of them I might third them. Looks like most of them I thirded. And I still have the problem that I showed on the other meals from this trip. That I don't have any butter and I don't have any olive oil. So I don't have any anything. But I got ideas. Probably not great ideas, but they're ideas. Alright, an onion. I know a lot of people don't do it the way I do it. And then... Peel it. Uh, peel that one. I'm going to leave them pretty large. And that's that. Let's get this going. Now the rough part here, let's start this on low. So as I go out and fire up the grill to cook up this uh, London broil. <laughs> no, it's about two degrees outside. I am not firing up the grill. But I'm going to do something I probably shouldn't do. I'm going to use the moisture from it. But maybe it'll stop it from burning. And we might have to add more. Put a little squirt of sriracha in there. Normally I wouldn't put sriracha on mushrooms, but I'm looking for some liquid to stop them from burning. I don't want to pour water in there, but let's see what we'll do. Wouldn't that be funny to go out and cook a London broil when it's two degrees outside. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. All right, we'll let that go. I'll keep working on it. You don't need to watch it all. All right, I put a little water in there. I'm gonna put a little garlic powder on there. I'm trying to keep them going. All right, trying to scorch these up a bit. We're making a mess. I'm gonna put a little water in. Not what I wanna do. You know, mushrooms adding water, really? I'm trying to get water out of mushrooms but try not to burn stuff. You make do. I'll let that keep going. All right, I'll shut this off. Put these on a plate, because I got a plan. See how it's gonna work out. I marinated this in sriracha. I got that uh, pan heating back up, and I'm sprinkling on some uh, the steak seasoning rub that I like on both sides. And uh, I'm going to let that pan get good and hot. Then we're going to go for it. Okay, that's good. Just a minute or two is my plan. Give it a good sear. Oh, it smells so good. I turned it off at the last minute on this side. So here we go. I'll take this out. I don't know if my sear actually seared. It's a whole lot of London broil, isn't it? And now what we're going to do is we're going to put mushrooms and onions over the top. I hope not to overdo this, but it's a possibility since I haven't done it this way before. I'm going to do about four minutes on this side. And away it goes. Okay, so now we're going to take these off. Scoop them right off the top. Trial and error. I'm doing trial and error. I think I'm getting more of the error than the trial. <laughs> All right, I'll flip this. I think it needs, it's gonna need a little bit more. I'd rather have it underdone than, not, than overdone. So we're gonna do six minutes on this side. And away it goes. Okay, we're in the last minute and we got a plan. Always got to have a plan. Right, Vin? Trying to drink water down below me while I'm cooking? Of course you are. 
All right, move that. And take all the onions and mushrooms and put them back on there as such. Put the lid back on. I'm basically gonna try to let it rest and keep the heat in. And then, in my little pampered chef thing, I got some broccoli, see, broccoli, and put it in the nucleator. Okay, okay, broccoli. All right, the broccoli's almost done. Do a countdown, it's at five seconds, so that's done. And I'm just gonna give this two more minutes. If I probably shouldn't um, try to heat back up the, the mushrooms and the onions. Hopefully I don't go too far with this London broil. All right, then we're gonna plate and eat and all that good stuff. See, the real color is much better. But let's go ahead and eat. All right, you can see there we got broccoli. We got lime juice. Taste the broccoli. See? All right, it's good. We got a shroom. All right, a hot. And we got onion. Now, let's start on this. Uh... All right, we got a sear and medium not medium rare that's medium but let's try it still got some juice in it all right i'll we'll call that medium but it's still got some juice in it but we're going to taste it there we go oh that's good wonder if my london broil is not up to my happiness that's really good all right time for a flyover That's a good London broil. Broccoli, mushrooms, onions. Have a great and wonderful day.